Hey there, dear YouTube community, and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra ranked video. I'm, of course, the one that loves you out there the most, the low giant. Welcome back to another ranked video. Today, uh, we do something uh, really, really different from the norm, because... Um, during the playing, uh, during me playing this deck today, uh, I discovered that, you know, I played, I, I fucking love Nautilus Deep. Uh, really have, uh, was the first deck in this game where I really was like, yeah, okay, I've, I found my new love, uh, best card game ever. Then, it translated over to Azir, when I played Azir Lucian and Azir Burn. And I was like, yeah, okay, you know, Azir, I don't know what, I, what I've been doing with my life, where has Azir been my entire life in this game? But today... Today, the deck, or the, the card that this deck is sort of centered around, uh, completely changed this, this view. Uh, we started Iron 4, and we're gonna grind down, hopefully, to gold. Uh, probably won't happen, because I don't play consistently. Uh, ranked, that is. Um, but, you know, a new expansion hit, and what does Swim do? He tries to break the game with Elusives, and that's sort of what he did with his most... Or, with the deck that he kind of abandoned right now. Let me actually check his website, if he's still... Uh, has it up there? He doesn't. Oh, it is. Never mind. It's a tier 3 deck, apparently. But tier 3 decks work surprisingly well in uh, Iron. Uh, I can tell you that much. Because what we play today is Cheerion Burn. I'm not gonna show you my rank, because, you know, that's kind of a surprise uh, how much I actually was able to climb with this. But uh, what is Cheerion Burn? Cheerion Burn basically uh, revolves around Cheerion Sumpworker, a game that has been released with the last uh, expansion. I uh, already have it foiled, obviously. And uh, it's an elusive. Again, new expansion. Swim tries to break the game with elusives. Kind of, kind of managed to, to do that. And he has some videos up on, on his channel where he, where he climbed with this. I'm gonna definitely going to put these in the description below. Uh, what does Cheerion Sumworker do? It's a 2-mana, 1-2 elusive, and it says as following. When you summon another Cheerion Sumworker, obliterate me and transform allied Cheerion Sumworkers everywhere into Sumworks Pussies. And the Pussy, the Sumworks Pussy... Looks extremely nice. I fucking love this artwork. And uh, they changed to a 4-2, still elusive. That also reads, attack, deal 1 to all enemies. Basically an Anivia. And the enemy Nexus. Yeah, basically a, a, a nut, an, an unleveled uh, Anivia. That is also elusive. Wait, how much damage does Anivia actually do? What are her, what are her stats? Uh, let me see that. 2-4. So it's kind of swapped. Uh, they deal more damage, but they are also obviously more vulner vulnerable. So, um, so what are we what are we trying to do? We obviously trying to put everything that we have onto the sump work uh, posse. Uh, we do that with fading memories. Pick a follower. It's a it's bur it's burst spell. Zero mana. Pick a follower. Create an ephemeral copy of it in hand. Obviously, we we play one uh, trigger and sump worker from our hand, then we transform or we. Uh, Give it elusive with fading memories on, in our hand. Play that. It destroys the, the sump worker, and we have a posse in hand. And every every, every time we uh, create another posse or another sump worker, for that matter, they all get transformed into the posse. We just have to destroy one sump worker to get a posse, and then everything else is a posse. We have hapless aristocrat or the Erbe, as I call him multiple times in the game. Uh, last breath. Summon a spiderling. One one. Um, Obviously, the uh, Spiderling is also a 1-1. One, one. Last Breath obviously triggers when he dies. So he replaces himself. We have one copy of Mark of the Isles, which is also a 1-mana burst spell. Grand and Ally, plus 2, plus 2, and Ephemeral, obviously, to close out a game with the Posse. We have Stitch and Onlooker, because we sort of have some... Or we have some pretty good um, Nightfall synergies in this deck as well, with uh, Fading Memories, so we can trigger um, Nightfall basically every single time. And Stitch and Onlooker is just there to provide a body to... Um, or to get like even more damage in because he has Nightfall and when you play him on Nightfall he goes from a 2-1 to a 4-1 uh, and he also has Fearsome for that one round. We have a one-off of Teemo uh, which is just splashed in to give a little bit more, or to give another win con because um, since 
we rely really pretty much on sump workers, but usually sometimes you just have three sump workers on the bottom of your deck and you're not gonna draw it for the entirety of the game. So we have one Teemo in there, not uh, also to fool the enemy a little bit, because you see uh, that we play uh, PNZ Shadow Isle. So you might think, oh, okay, and then he has Teemo in there, so probably Teemo is his win con, so they try to uh, get him out of the game. But it's just like for a little bit, uh, also for a little bit more, po uh, for the poison cap puff caps, they deal a little bit of damage potentially and if we get a Timo level up even better and elusive is still a little bit hard to deal with even though he's only a 1-1 one -one, but they might be inclined to uh, target their removal to Timo at the early game like their one damage one ping removal spells or even like a vengeance which which would be fucking amazing um, so yeah that's what Timo is there for basically for to um, to eat up all the dis uh, all the disruption and ping spells that they have. We have Boom Crow Rookie because this is a burn deck. Two mana, one, three. When he attacks, you deal two to the enemy Nexus, self-explanatory. Then, obviously, the Sump Workers, aka the Posses. We have Glimpse Beyond, kill an ally to draw two at fast speed. Also enables uh, Nightfall pretty consistently and also gives us an a chance to... Just draw into our win cons to uh, have a little bit more draw. Um, if you want to see the curve, by the way, as you can see, we have uh, mostly two mana spells and creatures as well. Like we have, th this, is a, this is an aggro deck. I mean, uh, it, it's called Jurian Burn, so obviously it's an aggro deck, right? So you're not, we're not going to have any uh, late game. The most expensive one that we have is a one-off of a four mana card, and we get to that in a little bit. We have uh, Iterative Improvement, which we want to solely use onto the posse. Because what it says is pick a pick a follower, create a copy of it in hand with plus one plus one, and if you use it, let's say you play a uh, sump worker and you use iterative improvement on him, he kills the first sump worker, transforms into a posse, and still has the buff. So instead of a four two, if you iterative, it's a five three that also deals one damage to everyone and the enemy nexus as well. So a five three is pretty good because if you play against PNZ, they usually have Mystic Shot. Uh, now they have to use a get excited to actually get rid of the posse, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, and also, we only have like three copies of the sump workers by default, so we obviously want to ramp this up a little bit, and that's why we use fading memories to get more copies of the sump workers of the posse, and um, iterative, iterative improvement also to get more copies of the posse. Stalking shadows, another way to get more copies of the posse. Pick a follower from the top four cards in your deck, draw it, place the rest into your deck, and then create an exact ephemeral copy in hand. Not only if we manage to hit a uh, posse, for instance, not only do we get the regular posse, but we also get an ephemeral one. So the ideal scenario is we um, use Stalking Shadows, we play the we play the ephemeral Sump Worker, and then destroy it with the Sump Worker that, uh, doesn't, that doesn't have ephemeral. Doesn't happen in one of the games, by the way, just uh, letting you know. We have a one-off of Unspeakable Horror, which can help us out uh, in the late game a little bit. It says drain one from anything, and if you play it at Nightfall, we create a random non-champion Nightfall card in hand. The one thing that a Burn and Aggro decks kind of suffer with is, number one, is card draw. Uh, this is also why uh, another reason why we have Glimpse Beyond in the deck. Uh, and also healing. That's why uh, one of the reasons why we also want a little bit of... Uh, Ping. Also, we can ping the enemy Nexus with that, and we also heal ourselves with it. And we also, if we play it at, at Nightfall, get a random non-champion Nightfall card in hand. Which could be, for instance, this thing right here, the Dusk Rider. Grab me plus one, plus zero for each time we've activated Nightfall this game. And we have some Nightfall uh, cards in the deck, so uh, that one would be pretty damn insane. We have uh, Unto Dusk. I think it also came with the last expansion. Not entirely sure. Maybe before that. Maybe with the Shurima upgrade, but I'm not entirely sure on that. It says draw one, and if you play it on Nightfall, activate an ally's Nightfall effect, ignoring any targeted portions. Which means we can re we can use this to draw one and also give the Stitch Onlocker again a 4-1 fearsome uh, stats. Or we want to use it on Doom Beast, the quintessential Nightfall card, basically. Three, two, Three mana, pretty good, but it also has Nightfall, Drain, two from the enemy Nexus. This one pings the enemy Nexus and also heals us in the process, which is pretty damn good. And yeah, we can just use Unto Dusk onto Doom Beast. Usually that's what we use it for if we have Unto Dusk. So, we dr uh, so not only do we draw one, but we also drain two from the enemy Nexus, which is pretty damn nice. 
Next up, we have Get Excited, which is another ping spell. We can uh, deal with larger threats or just ping the enemy nexus with it. To play, discard one, deal three to anything. Then we have a 3 up of the used Cask Salesman. When he's summoned, you summon two Caustic Casks, which are zero ones, which read, uh, which are ephemeral, and they read Last Breath. Deal one to each Nexus. Another ping spell, basically. And the 3-2 is a pretty good body, and we can block with the zero ones as well. And then we have Funsmith, a one-off. Um, Swim tweaked this deck uh, a little bit. I think uh, at the beginning there were like multiple Funsmiths in there, but uh, at four mana... Given that the stack is really fast and you want to mostly concentrate on posses, posses are two mana. Uh, then you have like iterative improvement. You can use the spell mana for two mana. You can uh, obviously also use fading memories, which is zero mana. But you want to concentrate on on them, so you don't. So, so most of the uh, creature mana, if you want, if you will, this is what you want to use onto the sump worker. So that's why you dump down the fun smiths to one. We're actually gonna see it in at least one game today, and it's actually pretty damn fun. Obviously, pun intended. It's a 1-3 for 4 mana, which is not as good, but when you read the text, that's where the fun part of the smith comes in. Is fun smith related to will smith? Hopefully, hopefully you saw that one coming, so it didn't hurt too much. All of your spells and skills deal 1 extra damage. Which obviously means this one, uh, uh, this one, Doom Beast drains 3 from the enemy nexus. This means that Mystic Shot deals 3. This means that Get Excited deals 4 damage. That means Boom Crew <laughs> Rookie deals 3 damage to the Nexus. And this also means that Sump Work Posse deals 2 to the enemy Nexus. That's basically where all the fun of the deck lies in. Uh, we start at Iron 4 as per usual because I don't play rank much. And we're going to see how much we can climb today with the good old Posse with a Chirion Burn. Um, I kind of spoiled it a little bit, I think. Spoiler alert, I fucking love this deck to death, and I think it actually surpassed my love for Deep and, Az and Azir, so take that for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, uh, links to Swim's videos are in the description below if you want to get uh, another deck tech on this for someone that actually crafted the deck. Uh, all credits, obviously, to uh, Swim in that sense, and also I'm gonna uh, link his games also in the description below. So, um, yeah. For this one, um, hope you're going to enjoy the games and uh, yeah, have fun with the games. If you if you like it, definitely leave a, leave a like, you know, it doesn't hurt and helps me out. And uh, now I feel kind of cringy for saying that in the first place. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy the games and uh, yeah, see you in the games. Something like that. First game, Warrior Kill, Mono Shurima, so a Sun Disk deck. I would assume with the zero reggaeton and the sizzle. That's pretty good. That's pretty goddamn good, I gotta say. But I'm gonna toss one sump worker. I actually wanna keep the stalking shadows. I'm gonna keep that. I'm just gonna toss one sump worker. Kinda okay. Don't really get early game, which kinda sucks, but. He doesn't either. He has, he has a sun disc, that's for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that he can muster up. So I'm just gonna play Sump Worker. See what we see, yeah. Always. Forward. Always. So I can I can skip this. <clears throat> Just gonna go for iterative and play the next sump worker next turn. Basically wipes him. And good luck trying to block into that, boy. Got that predict, however. Two C's. <clears throat> So we iterative and play the next sump worker. Ah yeah. So for two, we get that for two a five three. Thanks to iterative. And basically six damage thanks to the circuit breaker. Hmm. Good old Zizzle. 
How far out are you? Four out of ten. It's not too bad. I think I'm gonna fading fading them. Should you? Well, actually, you can kill them. If he's he's probably gonna try to do this. See, so yeah, I'm still gonna fading this since it's zero mana and it's burst. Then I'm gonna keep the get excited and just get excited his face hole. Yeah. So obvious, dude. It's so obvious. Uh, gonna toss one of the cask salesman. No. My sump workers. Let's play them. It's 10 damage to face. Then I have this. That can go face. Let's see. Another Sun Worker would have been good, but Funsmith is also nice, but I don't think we necessarily need it anymore. So I'm just gonna go for the for the aristocrat. We go face. That deals with these two. Four left. Mystic. And then we can either go for the Cask Salesman, which finish him, finishes him off next turn, which also deals with the Azir if he decides to attack with him, or we just go for Get Excited. We know Get Excited can be countered with Right. Tell me, what will become of Shurima? I study history, but we must write it. Done. Good night. Oh, wait. Kind of BM, I guess. <laughs> I forgot. Usually I have the Shen E mode there. Oh, yeah, we have no hero. <laughs> mm. Nice game. Noxus. PNZ. Victor. Solo. Another sun worker fading memories. All right then. All right then. I'll bite. It's good. Nah. Mm. Could be better. Not gonna lie. Could be better. Because everything is gonna be ephemeral now, <laughs> so I don't necessarily want that. But we can go in for some high octane beats. That's for sure. Ah. All right. <laughs> it's not bad. Since we have something to enable Nightfall with, which is kind of cool. He's elusive, so he can get free beats in. The thing is, as soon as you see this, and you see this region combination, you know exactly what I'm trying to do. So, you can kind of counteract that. Or try to, at least. So, fading onto the Sump Worker. And then, we go for Stygian. See if he attacks. Maybe we can deny some attack here. Could have also played it next turn to get some more beats in, but yeah, there you go. Wise decision, one might say. I'm just gonna block that. Yeah, because everything else I can just kill with the sump worker anyway, so... I think that's the right play. I'm gonna wait for the next fading memories, however, because we might have something. 
I might have like a Doom Beast or something, and I can enable that with Nightfall next turn. Also, he's down to four cards. Okay, we don't. Lesson learned. Might as well play the next one. Maybe I should have waited, because I could have killed both of them if I play three of these. No, yeah, because like one damage to everything three times, so that would have been cool, but sadly, man can do that. This thing is gonna get de deaded. Get the copy. Wait, nine. Down to seven, if I use this, which I don't think I need. Down to seven, get excited four. Nah, I can still use it on this. Yeah, let's go for the regular attack. He can't. Also, he can't block. So why? Why even, right? <clears throat> Yeah, right now, if I would have used um, Mark of the Isles, he would be down to seven. With Get Excited, he would be down to four, leaving uh, leaving uh, Sumber this Sumborg Posse to lethal. But I can use I can also still use it on this Sumborg Posse. So I can I can still use Mark of the Isles on this because it's also going to be ephemeral, anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. Hmm. What can you give me? He's gonna go in for a six beats. He's gonna do 11 damage overall. Yes. Daddy likes it. I think I can use. Yeah, I think I can use this. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let him grow. And then we play the posse. And then we're gonna have some fun. Like, let, let him burn his mana a little bit. Because I think he has Mystic Shot. I'm pretty sure about that. Let's see. Gotta toss away the glimpse. Progress. Yep. Leaves me at seven. Decimate three. Let's decimate. That could be decimate. And one Sumberg Posse is not lethal. Or can I wait? Uh, Mark is six. More damage is seven. Yeah. Yeah, if he has uh, decimate, I'm dead. Nice, that's made. GG! Happens. Goes to show you, should have used uh, Mark of the Isles earlier. I might have, have had him there then. Would I? He would be at 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Nah, I don't think I would have had him there. Ah, well. <clears throat> Shit happens. Next one. Next game! Freljord, P and Z, we got, oh, okay, Timo, Ezreal, so that's the, what's the, oh, got the Mystic Shot, and another uh, Sumborker, getting lucky with those draws, gonna toss these two, see if we can counter the Timo, if he drew it, but yeah, that's the, what's, what's that shit, what's that shit called? 
uh, you know, the the, 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 the draw landmark? I forgot the name. Oh yeah, it's that. Where you just like put shrooms in your deck and then you overdraw and then you get damaged and shit. Yeah. Pretty mucho. Yeah, sure. Tapped out of mana, so he doesn't have Mystic Shot, so nothing for me to be afraid of with my posse. I should have waited though, I think. Yeah, I should have waited actually. I could have played like double posse. Ah. Yeah, now I can just iterative. Hmm. No issue. Got the Doom Beast. Nice, 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 nice. Sure. This leaves them out of. Mystic shot range. It rid of that. Maybe should have done that next turn for Doom Beast. Well, let's go posse. Has to block that with his Ezreal in the future. So that's kind of funny. Mom's spaghetti. Yeah, there's the foundry. So we guys just gonna go face. Uh, also with the boom crew rookie. This these they deal damage anyways. So that's profit. And they can't be blocked at the moment. This guy is gonna be deaded. So you should. Maybe not. Mm, he has two mana left. I think I want to keep the rookie. So I think I'm just going to snipe him down for now. Yeah. Good night. Now this is also in range for Mystic Shot, which is good. Which means I can leave the get excited for uh, Ezreal. And thanks for the draws, my friend. They ha oh shit, they help out, dude. God damn, they help out. Get rid of that. Go for the Doom Beast. Get some life back. Good times. Good times. Could be a get excited onto the posse. If he decides to throw away one sh one uh, mushroom cloud, would tap out on spell mana. However, uh, offer is he eight, so ten. No, it's on eight puff caps. Oh, oh dude, Jesus! Oh, this is disgusting. I love it. Kind of sucks because I can't use it with stalking shadows now. But I mean, you know. It is what it is. Have another pussy, dude. Pussy's rolling out now. That's three damage. It's no problem. They still die. They still die. They still die. How do they die? They fucking die. Everyone dies, dude. Everyone dies. Ah, fuck yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> no! <laughs> Everything dies! <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, Dude, could have played another posse, but we're gonna heal up. We're gonna heal up. Oh, on to Dusk? On to the Doom Beasts? Sounds nice. 
I'll take it. Getting that. Wait. Did I do that wrong? Oh, a nightfall. I'm an idiot. That's alright. Let's see what you play. Don't have enough cards. That's the thing. What you got? Alright. Just gonna copy that. That's all your mana. Just gonna play another posse. Posse roll out. <laughs> ah. Gotta love the sump work, posse. Just gotta love it. Posse roll out. Yes. Still dead. Still dead. Also, I still have Mystic Shot. Alright. Pussy, pussy! <laughs> it's not BM. It's my way of saying GG. It's more creative. Maybe I should actually change the emote. <laughs> Next! Next game, hold on. What do we have? Alright. Alright then. Next game! Jesus, she's all over the place. Basic board. Shadow Isles card bag, Ionia Shurima, usually you would say Azir uh, Irelia, but nah. It is Azir Irelia, but it's also Lee Sincillian and Zed, which I don't know how the fuck that is supposed to work, but it's probably gonna beat me. We don't have the posse this time, so I'm just gonna hard mulligan for it. Paid out. Paid out? Paid off. We can play- uh, uh, First. That could be problematic, given that he has quick and that. Well, he actually has blockers for the posse. Well, that's illegal. What about say, please no posse? Thank you. Obeys. Ah, there it is. There it fucking is. So. Duh, 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 duh. Yes, I'm gonna play. Actually, I want to play the ephemeral posse and then two regular ones. Like ephemeral, iterative, and then play that. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, chill out, bruh. Actually, no, never mind. He doesn't have a blocker because this one dies to the posse anyways. Yeah, it's great. Great gameplay! Posse. Then we play the posse that doesn't die immediately. But obviously we iterative. And then play that iterative posse. I, I, I didn't pay attention last game. Is it carrying over? I can't play double posse. Uh, okay. So we stick with the plan. Copy that. Posse. Posse up. What's my favorite word? Pussy! Come on, block with Aurelia. If you don't want that one damage to go through. <laughs> Doesn't. 
And we keep the fading memories so we can enable the... <coughs> the Stygian. Haven't played against her, to be honest. Oh! Ooh! Oh, hello there! Our enemies approach. My hands are shaking. Then hold on to mine. We'll face them together. Ah. Gay? <laughs> um... Alright. Fading this. Um, I think I'm gonna play Stygian for the block. I think Funsmith is too slow. Do I have to kill her? Mm. I think I might as well, right? Yeah, because I don't want to get that. Sh I don't want that shit to go overboard. I can play another posse as well. A four-two posse, yeah, that. What was that? Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, annoying. The dance for two hearts, united in war. Well, that's all right, actually, because you know, a posse. <laughs> sure, sure, do it. Actually, I can block here with this. Ionia. Two damage Ionia. One damage. Can't think of anything now. Yeah, it should be good. That posse. <laughs> Into the resign. Posse. Riot, give them a fucking boys line. Deservingly so. They should. They deserved it. They fucking deserve it. God damn, these guys are amazing. I fucking love them. <laughs> why did I? Okay, why did I play Azir so much, and why did I play Nautilus like deep so much? This right here, the posse is where it's at. Fuck yeah. Next. Next. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next game. Similar situation as last time. Freljord Ionia, which means, oh my god, yes. Nice, <clears throat> great draw. Braum and Niviam, Tyrandomir, Zed. It's always Zed in these six hero decks for some reason. A uh, five hero decks. And Karma. And go running. Just gonna throw him a curveball with the Teemo. Open attack. Maybe he doesn't have anything to remove it. It's gonna be kinda hard for pause for um Freljord Ionia. Uh the Where are you? Do the thing. <laughs> I look like an idiot if I do this and you don't do it. we play the first posse? I think so. <clears throat> we could gamble for another one. Oh, oh, oh. Hilarious. He fucking hilarious, my dude. 
So I'm gonna carry over the spell mana, use Stalking Shadows next turn. Also got Unto Dusk. It's kinda good. Ooh. Alright then. Alright then. Let's get some more shrooms in there. Oh yeah. Slowly drain ya out, boy. Don't have anything for the posse yet. Uh, could've, with um, fading memories. But, I think for now I'm gonna rely on to the Doom Beast. To give me some satisfaction. Galeen. Fucking, okay. These goddamn Christians out there. I'm telling you now. It's every time I record. Jesus. Literally. Y'all, the whole day, they don't do shit, but then the giant is recording and then they got a ding dong the dong ding. Goddamn. Okay, that's kind of scary now. <clears throat> Not gonna lie. So. Where did we learn to fly? Uh. One, two, three, four. Well, we over, over flood the board there. So that onto the posse. I'm gonna use Doom Beast now because I want to get the full gist of the healing. <clears throat> this thing is a little bit annoying, but actually we can just use yeah we can just use Mark of the Isles and get rid of him. Yeah. Like, block here. Yeah. Gotta do that. This is gonna level Z up, which I don't care too much about. We're definitely gonna be doing that. Next turn, posse into uh, Doom Beast, I think. If you draw another posse, that would be really good. <coughs> Not a thin ally, as they say. Yeah, we can, we can utilize uh, onto Dusk as well, which is kind of cool. Good. Good, good, good. That sucks. Mm. Let's heal. Wait, attack. Actually, I killed the Empyrean. Which is one posse. I think I gotta keep Timo back because I don't want to block him. Don't want him to block with the. Imp I want him to block with the Empyrean into a posse. That would be the ideal scenario here. And with the Cask Salesman, I still have a blocker next turn. But he has to block with the Empyrean here. Well, not like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use Onto Dusk. Get a get a card draw as well. Oh, iterative. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That could help us out a little bit here. That could uh, that could be really good. Fourteen damage if he attacks now. Doesn't have anything that can go face, I think. He has a he could have a buff. I wouldn't put it past him. The plus three, plus zero, one. Twin something, twin disciplines. 
but he has to commit it before. Not during the attack. <clears throat> I can't play him now. Because I would die. Alright. I can use this for card draw. Smith? No, okay. Helpful. Posse? Not sure how the game looks now, to be honest. It's kind of weird. The fact that the open attack kind of sucks. <clears throat> Last turn. If he would have used like the twin disciplines, if he but probably doesn't have it though, but that actually would have secured him the win, I think. At least I would. I, at least I would have had to block with Timo. But that's why I didn't block in the first place. That's why this this. I should have blocked into this. So we iterative. I mean, no, they're, they're if uh, we fading memories. Actually, I should have picked this. I don't know why I picked this. Oh well. It should be lethal. But I just want to make sure. Also, we have some mushrooms in there. Eight in total. Posse, roll out! See if we got him. No sharp sights, no combat tricks. I hope. I don't think you can nopify a skill. Can you? I don't think so. And even then, this dies, this dies, this dies. If you can nopify it, this dies. This is at one. Got him! Didn't even block! <laughs> Ugh. And then Timo level up! Just... Just to be... Just to rub it into the face even further. GG. Can't mess with the posse! Pretty much, yeah. You were there from, the, from round one, literally. Next game against Sepik Sin Sinin? Freya Noxus, so a little bit more of a normal deck for a change. Sorta. We have Swain, which usually isn't in that deck, but we have Braun Braun? Braun Vladimir, so probably Scourgrounds with a little bit of a Swain mixed in there. Why not? Not sure if that actually necessarily makes sense. But we're just going to assume it does. I'm going to keep the entire hand because I really like Stalking Shadows in the opening hand as well as the Sump Worker. Even though we still don't have an early game, but... or a round one. But it's I. And usually they can't deal with turn one, elusive, posse. As long as it's not PNZ and an Ezreal, we don't have to fear uh, a Mystic Shot. Which is everything this human being could ask for. We could have gotten uh, more beats in with the Boom Crew rookie, but I mean, you know. Here we go. Here we go again. That's the second posse all ever, so it's kind. I think it's kind of unlikely that we actually, uh, when I use Talking Shadows now, that we draw into another one. Posse time. 
Let's get crazy. Shall we? Let's do it. Actually, it's gonna hurt us a little bit because he's gonna get procs. So that kind of sucks. A little bit of a rhyme there. The better! <laughs> kind of like this guy. Though, I could Mystic Shot and then kill him with the Posse proc. But for now, Posse! It's gonna get so much value out of that goddamn cu Crimson Curator, though. <laughs> That's kind of disgusting. I found my family, my blood oh! <laughs> I can do oh shit! That's four draws. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's on ten he ten cards in hand. Ugh. But you know what? I don't fucking care. Posse! Because we're still looking at 12 damage? This is 2? Yes, 12 damage! Yeah. You still die. And I think he overdraws. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he overdraws though, right? I'm pretty sure he does next turn. Four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! <sighs> Damn it. <clears throat> oh! The sweet smell of science? Do we just iterative into the next uh, posse? Call me crazy, this is just what, we, what, we, what we're gonna finna do. What we're gonna finna do. Yeah, that makes sense. Be cool for now. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Nine. Okay. Eleven damage. Not that it matters. What well, eleven? Five they get damaged for three. Yeah. Posse attacks. One damage to the Nexus, please. Thank you. Yes. So we're down to three. So they should be... They should clear. Okay, making sure. It was your undoing. Double damage, right? One extra damage. Still says one for some reason. Should deal two. Yeah, he doesn't have three mana left for um, the Noxus, Noxus spell. Posse! That's yeah, two damage. Not sure why it's at one. Pussy. <laughs> this is the greatest deck ever. Make no mistake. <laughs> Loving it. Next game against Zir Reggaeton Sharima Solo Sundisk deck. 
as a throwback to the first game. Uh, again, some worker. Um, again, stalking shadows. Stitch in. <sighs> Gonna have to throw you away. I kind of want the. Mm ah. You know, one mana turns into a spoder. I always forget his name for some reason because I played so many card games. Hapless Aristocrat. There you go. How's that? How you like them grapes? Okay. <laughs> Not really. That was calculated. I was uh, debating putting him down, but obviously he would just trade off and I wouldn't get any value out of the Boom Crew rookie, so I might as well just... Might as well just play the... <laughs> Stygian. Hmm. Timo sounds nice. You said it. Our city proudly pledges itself to Sharima. So people play the hero fund, eh? Interesting. Posse. Or some worker for now. It's all cool. Never know what hit him. Let's do this. Now we just need our regular setup, like iterative, fading memories, maybe a stalking shadow that actually hits something. <laughs> Something like that. You need not follow, but you will witness. I was about to say, if we miss again, what are we, Grappler? Uh, um, given that he just put down uh, Azir, uh, we're gonna take some damage. So I'm gonna get... So we might need the heal. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go for the um, Doom Beast here. We could carry over the spell mana, and I think we're gonna do this. So I think I want to block. At least I want to block into him. He didn't pull. Still, I think I want to get rid of him. How far in are you at four? That's doable. Kind of sucks that I have to use a mystic shot here, but you know. It is what it is sometimes. So we had five mana. We could play Boom Crew into Doom Beast. Uh, we would heal up fully, which would be kind of cool. Let's see what he plays down. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name. Jeremans, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. Gonna play the regular Doom Beast for now. Next turn, uh, we can play the, the ephemeral one. For now, we are uh, fully healed. Which was the main premise. So he's at 12. Because he will block here. Yeah. What's this doing? Oh. That's a 6-6 six, six reggaeton. Possibly. Maybe a 3-7 Azir. Ah, 6-6 six, six reggaeton. Played the normal one. Yeah, fading memories, then we proc Doom Beast Ephemeral. Not for the heal, but just for, uh, for the damage, basically, and also that we have a Ephemeral blocker. So maybe he'll just pass. He won't. <laughs> Took the bait! Okay. Seven. Um, could buff Timo up to... to attack. Would put re reggaeton down to three. Would kind of help the, the posse, but not much. Uh, he's getting two damage in. I can heal that up with Doom Beast. 
Wait, do we have lethal? This one is four. If I put Mark of the Isles, it's six, seven, three with Doom Beast. So he's down to one next turn. If he doesn't, if he doesn't have anything to block or negate the damage from the sump, uh, from the posse with, with anything. This is nice. So ephemeral kills. Down to three. If I use the next uh, posse. I'd raise a thousand soldiers to fight for Surima. Empires are built on ambition and servitude. It's already lethal. Posse! <laughs> Posse to the rescue! Control, control decks? What are those? <laughs> Posse! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Love this.